look at this strawberry. Uh, it's going crazy. Now the lima bean I had over here didn't much like it and something got a hold of the leaves and it's been eating the leaves, but it's actually got a little lima bean on it right there. So, but look at this strawberry plant. Look at the cascades coming off of it. That's three separate cascades going down to three, four levels. One, two, three, four levels. Okay. That's just on that one. Now, then here's this one that is actually split into two plants up here. I could pull those apart and have two separate plants plus cascades. So basically, all the river channel has cascades coming off the strawberries. Some of them are starting to die because they didn't get anywhere and the plants don't have enough roots to support it or whatever. But in the beginning, I didn't have enough strawberries to go end to end here. Now I've got strawberries in the back that are cascading down like this one as well. And this little guy is one of the cascades because I just took the cascades and kept looping them over and looping them over. If you can see here, that's where I cut the cascading branch. I just took and I looped over, looped over, looped over a few times and got some more strawberries started. But you can see the cascades are growing every which direction down inside the fish tanks. Here's my two tanks. They're wrapped in with the, the fencing goes all the way around them. Uh, then I've got the PVC loop, goes across the front, over and back across the back. Uh, lettuce did great in it. The strawberries seem to be liking it fairly well. Uh, so yeah, it definitely works. But I do have algae building up inside the tube because it doesn't really block out light. And if I put something on it that was dark colored to block out the light to stop the algae, I was afraid it would overheat. So that would be something to play with to try to figure out how you could shade it, stop algae. Uh, to keep it from clogging the roots or do whatever. Of course, you can just go through, pull all the plants up, allow the algae to flow through and down to your sump. Just wash everything down to the sump because the tilapia will eat all the algae anyway. Let it get pumped back up and they'll eat it. It'll be like candy to them. So, uh, But once things start getting big, it can be harder and harder to pull them out because of the roots. As you can see, the algae coating those roots there. So, let's see. See what one of the back ones is looking like if the algae's made it around over here yet yeah it's starting to but you can see those roots are a lot cleaner now if i was growing lettuce or bok choy it, bok choy loved it sell the berries on that plant it's sad that the bugs are going to get them tilapias love strawberries though so but by the way uh if the bugs get a hold of a ripe one i pull it off and, and feed it to the tilapia so but yeah, you can see these roots are a lot wider here, so uh, not quite as algaed up. But uh, so the system definitely works. And if you were growing, like I said, if you were growing lettuce or bok choy, something you harvested on a regular basis and replanted, uh, it would the roots would never get to the point where they're clogging up the NFT, uh, which is a little bit deeper than an NFT. The tube's about uh, well, it's pretty full. So, I mean, it's just a half inch or so below the lip here. So it's more than half full. It's almost three quarters full. So it's more than an NFT, but not quite deep enough to call a, uh, a deep water culture or a floating raft type situation, but it it's working. Uh, I mean, I planted these strawberries out here months ago. I'll have to see the actual, uh, check the actual date that I set this up by the video or whatever and go from there but these strawberries have proliferated since then they've got i mean if i took just one of these and put it in one of the grow beds i have enough offshoots cascading down that i could fill an entire grow bed just with one of these plants more than i mean like this one right here just the number of cascades coming off it and they're at the ground level that one was rooting in the ground see the white color of the root on it right here they're stuck in those sticker vines too but See the white roots on that one right there? It was actually starting to root in the ground down there. So, uh, I mean, they've got that many levels of cascades coming down all off this one plant. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cascades coming off of it. One, two, three, four, and some of them have five. Uh, 
Some of them have five cascades to them. And that plant actually has more cascades because a couple of them are going over into the fish tank. Okay, that's an update on the channel system.